All right, game. Where's my my prize? Ah, zombies! <laughs> that noise. That's hilarious. George, why are you always in my way? Like, you're literally always in the way. Oh, I did kill him! <laughs> overpowered! Totally overpowered. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another Call of Duty Zombies video on my channel. Today, I've got something a little bit different than my usual Tuesday video. As you can see, I am not playing MWZ again. So, what I'm doing is, this is still, in 2024, the number one custom Zombies map on Black Ops 3. Now, it's not the number one as in the best, or number one as in the newest for 2024, but this is still the most popular Zombies map on the Steam Workshop for Black Ops 3. And I think it's very fitting for me to play this, because this is originally a official Treyarch map, but this has been remastered in the best way possible for a custom map on Black Ops 3. And honestly, I, I like this version better than the original, but the original still holds a special place with me because, well, it is a very just unique map for the time period. As in, it had the first zombie boss, George, you know, nobody has gotten to round 100 on this, or that map so low, or that version of this map, but... And it introduced new characters in Black Ops 1 and everything. And it also had the first Easter egg that could actually be completed solo. You didn't have to have four players or certain prerequisites to it. It was just, you do it solo and that's it. So, with that in mind, I'm actually going to be doing the Easter egg for this and probably some other things. Now, what I'm going to be doing for my Tuesday videos, if I even have them from now on, is I'm just going to be playing zombies, but it necessarily won't be MWZ or custom zombies for sure. I'm just going to try to mix it up and at least have a video. But no guarantees because this is also getting into springtime. So my life's getting a little bit busy. I like to be outside. I like to do other things and other hobbies and spend time with family. So can't guarantee I'll have two videos every week. I'm just going to try to uh, do something different. MWZ has kind of gotten boring, especially once, you know, you kind of do everything. Or if you're not there to uh, immediately play the recent update as soon as it comes out and post the video the next day. Alright, zombies. I need your points. I think they is one shot, yeah. Not sure why I'm <laughs> spraying too many bullets. Well, George is in the way now. So, in case anyone didn't know, the custom map version that I'm playing. The solo easter egg is still easier to do than the co-op one, but there are still a few extra steps involved in just the regular Call of the Dead on Black Ops 1. I think the main differences are you have to activate four radios around the map, and you still have to do the dials for the lighthouse. However, they're not fixed like in the original version they actually randomize and there is four locations you have to look at to see what numbers you need to uh input to uh get the dial set right not really making as many points as i wish i would okay grabby zombies while you get to sit this one out i don't know if this will end up being a chopped up edited video or not i know i've been doing that with my map custom zombie map videos lately but it's mainly just to save time like i don't want to post a, an hour or two hour long video when i can chop it up cut it down to about 20 30 minutes at the most shit, this is a shit i don't know if people like that more or not but it seems to be what everybody else does and i'm just doing it mainly to try to cut down on the video link trying to upload a 20 25 gigabyte video kind of kind of takes a while at least for me anyways so turn the power on thank you game I will go ahead and set that. I'll turn it the wrong way. Okay. I'm gonna end up shooting George here in a second. I'm just gonna have to try to get him to go away. Oh, run! 
I guess this is what they meant by hell Come on. over, huh? Thank you, George. Get out of the way. So you can kind of plan on maybe potentially my Tuesday videos being now, just you do this these shit. kind of maps or this kind of gameplay where I'm playing maybe official zombie maps or remasters or like really good custom zombie maps that have been out for a while. I know lately with my custom zombie maps they've been uh, like the most recently released and some of them are good, some of them are kind of eh. But try to mix it up a little bit, but I gotta keep it all within the same uh, genre, I guess. Ooh, I would use that minigun on George, but I don't think it's a good idea. Come on, we try it, I guess. I know sometimes it uh it does kill him quick, sometimes it don't. Come on, George, I need to uh, unload the death machine into you. Maybe I'll try to take him down at least once in this video. I don't think it's done much to him. Yeah, I didn't do enough to him to even weaken him one level. He is a, uh, a tanky boy that takes a lot of bullets anyways. Time to go get Chug. Buy the MP40. Alright, so I think there's a paper right here. So that is, I think, yellow six. I think that's yellow six. I can't remember if it's just the numbers that randomize or if it's the number and the color for each one. Alright, zombie, really? I can't remember if it's the color and the numbers can change, or if it's just the numbers change for each location. Actually, you know, I probably should, uh, should probably make sure I write that down. Alright, I got that wrote down. <laughs> I'd be running back like, what's the number, what's the color for each They'll one? Just and, pull them down yeah. anyway. Not a bad spot to stand at here. Oh, back with George likes to, uh... Well, Ruin camping on this map. Is it a 40 or one shot? That's interesting. No. It is not a one shot, actually. Load. Uh, I don't want that. Okay, apparently we got a double bomb going on. That's nice. Just finish off the rest of the zombies real quick. Never mind, George is here. Let's. Let's not do that. Right. These guns Grab some ain't worth more MPL ammo. Oh, of course I get a max ammo right Much now. Much Go figure. Go ahead and open up this direction to get to the little bunker by PhD. Whoa! Okay, there's a lot of them spawn down here already. to knife the door. There is a Russian stuck in the room. Yes, we know. Oh. Gotta wait for the dialogue to finish up. Super long dialogue. Alright, I think the uh, dialogue is finally finished. Got it. There it is. I wouldn't touch you with a ten foot pole. Alright. Now this guy is excessively fast for some reason. Alright, you know what, zombie? Oh, no, got one of out of ammo here. Go away. I think I can go ahead and destroy these. Hell yeah! Why wouldn't I want to blow shit What the heck? Um, hello? What the heck? There we go, finally. Probably ought to just open this door up and go ahead and go that way. Yep. Time to open that door. Try not to shoot doors now. You want that? They'll only just pull them down anyway. All right, they're getting jammed up on him, so I can go ahead and open this. I'm not gonna worry about getting that generator over there yet. Grab. Speed Cola. Nice thing about the uh, custom map version is this is a uh, cross back going to spawn. Normally, Quick Revive sits in front of that, and you can't do that. Grab some more MPL ammo. I have to open this so I can throw a grenade down at that. Got it. And also, I think the other number is right there. That is 
purple five, I believe. I better write that down too. You know, I guess I can also uh, if I double tap on them over here. That'd be helpful, probably. And there's one more generator, which is see it from here. Yes, I can. And for whatever reason, it is being stubborn and not letting grenades actually do what they're supposed to. Mirror zombie, I need you to not give me enough points, apparently. Finally, a break in the whip. All right, well, I have enough. I had to kill him. So, grab the Stemtex grenade. This map does look really good, especially when there's no fog. Like, this is definitely a awesome remaster of the original. Alright, I got it. Actually, there is one, I think, right here somewhere. Blue is three. Okay, I better make sure I write that one down. Nice. Too bad George isn't close by, or I could, uh, I could really wreck, wreck his day. Make sure uh, I got one zombie, but he's really fast. And there's the box. Alright, there is orange. I think orange is two. I don't think I can throw a grenade at this generator because the zombies decided to be extremely fast. Can I hit this generator first try? Alright, I think I got it. Oh boy, George is right here too. Come on, game. Alright, I think I got the dialogue anyways, so I'm just gonna let them do their thing. So now, the first radio I need to activate, I believe, I is on the on ship, that. and it is Zombies on the next run. level. I think that's the radio. Yep. Uh, it. Dawn, now I need to go over to where Stamina Up is. I think there's a radio Holy in shit. that shack there, too. I think the radio is right here. Yep. Now I, I need to run back over to the over, huh? ship where the Stemtex grenades are. I think there's one there. I think the radio models are also different in this than they were in the original. In the original, they were kind of like a flat, like... VHS tape player looking thing. Now these are actual radio modules. Alright, I think it was right here. Yep. And then the last one is conveniently right by the, uh, the little bunker that the characters are trapped in. George, why are you always in my way? Like, you're literally always in the way. I'll deal with you later though. And now if I've also set the ship controls right, it should auto do that step and then the lighthouse should be illuminated by the submarine and I should just have to do the dials. Yep, there's ship horn. So there should be a submarine up here. Yep, Z zombie, really. Trap me in this corner somehow. So now I need to do the ship dials What's next round because of the zombie. Absolutely. It's actually okay. I needed the points to uh, also hit the box anyway. because I need the VR-11 as well. And I probably should get a better gun to uh, to down the dude when I convert him over. But I still have to do the dials, which it's fine. They're not too hard to do because they're a fixed pattern on how to set them up. Anyway. As long as you know what the pattern is. <laughs> How many is left? I see at least two of them. There's only two left, and I'm probably okay. Alright, let's hit the box a little bit. I need to get the VR-11. Uh, VR-11, not CZ-75. I this will take the scavenger. Zombies. Probably should buy a mule kick on Alright, George, I need you to go away. Shit. So we'll do that. Uh, I tried to avoid getting shocked, but I will. Take him the long way around. Yep. You you just stay over here for a little bit, George. I need to uh, do these dials in peace. So for anyone that is curious on how to do these dials for the lighthouse, they're actually pretty simple once you know what numbers you need to set for each color of the dial. So first off, you want to turn the 
purple dial until you get the number one it that you want, and then you turn the yellow dial until you get the number one it that you need, and you turn the blue dial to the number you get for it, and then, yeah. So, in order to do these dials, I need to turn the purple one first, which I think is this one. Yeah, it looks purple. So, I need to turn that one to five. Just like that. And then yellow is the next one. I think that's clear at the top. Conveniently, if there's no light shining on the dial, then you don't need to activate it. So, like, this one's shining. I need to get six. So that one's six now. All right, zombies, you're in my way. Seriously. Go, go somewhere, please. <laughs> I think blue is the second floor, which is uh, this one. I need to turn it to three. So one, two. Ta-da! I'm a magician. <laughs> I remember doing this first time co-op, and me and my friends, we took like just an hour on this step because we got the dials all backwards and screwed up so badly, it took forever to get them sorted out again. And I remember trying to fix it, and fix it, and I finally figured it out, and then one of my friends was like, okay, turn the blue dial, and they would turn the purple one, and it was, oh, it was a mess. But eventually we got it. I think we got hung up on the fact that we couldn't get the VR11 for whatever reason, so I need to Take Shit, your point, zombies. I need to grab Shit, milk, milk kick before I get the VR11. That way I can uh, do other things after I finish the Easter egg, which involved George and making him disappear forever, hopefully. I don't need the nuke. Kind of want to keep the scavenger because reasons, and also in this version, it actually can do infinite damage, which is nice. I don't know, if I do the Easter egg and everything goes well, maybe I should do like a round 50 or round 100 run out of this video, that'd be hilarious. Come back in like 15 minutes, hey guys, I'm on round 50. <laughs> ah, crap, I killed all of them. That's okay, I will run over to uh, Mule Kick real fast, because I can do zip line. Grab this perk because I want to have three guns. All right, um, I do need another gun, but I think I'm gonna grab the M16 for a very special reason. All right, give me M16. Send me back over here. All right, zombies, I'm back at my spot. Now you can spawn like crazy. Need your points for the uh, the box. Oh, a death machine. Oh, too bad I sure can't really do much of that. Oh, yeah, George. I, I want to delete you with this minigun. All right, George. Gotta run away from him. For some reason, he's extra fast in this version, too. That's just something I noticed. All right, time to get rid of the MP40. Hopefully, it gets the, uh, the VR11. Fun fact, in the original Call of the Dead on Black Ops 1, if you got to this step in the Easter egg, you actually got an increased chance for the VR-11 from the uh, box, which is kind of nice, but at the same time, still <laughs> not very noticeable increase in uh, odds of getting it. All right, ladies, time to go hunting. All right, I'll take those. Those are nice point builders. Ah, there we go. All righty. Come here, zombie. I need to sacrifice you. Uh. Man, I can't even shoot him. That was weird. It's like I was shooting an invisible wall the whole time. Oh hell yeah! Now that was more than a couple cherry bombs. Get after him! No, don't mess with me. I'm a black belt. Uh, okay, why is this glitchy over here? I'm on the set ammo too. Is that a skill? Why am I getting random points? Is it from that? Dude, I froze. Crazy music going on now, too. What happened there? It's like I shot the VR-11 and the zombies started after him, then came back Damn, after me. I don't know. Oh, that's what it was. He actually ran to the lighthouse. That's hilarious. 
Would like to upgrade the M16 if I could, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, it's at spawn. Nice. Time to upgrade the M16 to my favorite version of it. I guess this is what they meant by hell freezing over, huh? There we go. Hey, boy. I'm not sure why it seemed like the scavenger just kind of didn't do anything to that dude when I shot him. You normally don't take much to actually kill him. It's just like didn't register or something. It's like, oh, hey, there's an invisible wall and your bullets hit it and it deals zero damage to the actual guy that you froze. Uh, temp number two and a half, I guess. Yeah, like, oh, there we go. I got him that time. <laughs> yeah, Skull Crusher definitely does a lot more to him. And I think uh, when I get a zombie, I'm going to decoy them away from me until I get this rod at least so uh, then I can uh, finish the easter egg hopefully all right game where's my my prize there we go oh nice m16 is a one shot right now I mean I guess it is round 14 right? so. max ammo nice All right, you know what? If you're gonna cheat, George. Eat minigun. Run, run. Ugh. Forgot George can apparently like one hit or like two hit kill you in this. So much fun. Uh huh. Oh my God! I got to get the hell out of this counter. Damn! You can take a beating, George. Just do that. Oh, yeah. Ain't gonna be much left after that. I'm gonna have to make everyone. Oh, he's dead! Wow, that's much easier. <laughs> it's much easier in this one. Do I actually get a double off from that? No, but I did get flopper. Nice. Do 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 do. So I did defeat George before I actually uh, completed the Easter egg. That's fun. Go away, zombies! All of you. Can't see you, but go away. <laughs> I actually want to upgrade the scavenger. It's a new dawn, All right, I, I still hear more zombies, so that's hell good. Up. Zombie, register a hit, please. All right, upgrade Damn scavenger time. I can't remember if it gets a thermal sight in this one or not. Uh huh. Oh my god, I got to get the hell out of the Original is water. thermal. Okay, I guess it does. Do you know what? I should upgrade this too. Cause this will actually make George stay I guess away. This is what they meant. Uh -huh. Oh my god. There we go. Get the hell out of this water. <laughs> we almost set up to go to round 100 on this map now. <laughs> but enough of that nonsense. Let's go ahead and finish this Easter egg. So I gotta put that there. Uh, did it bug? Seriously, zombie. Come on, register my Easter egg progress. Well, on the bright side, I'm actually pretty well set to go for some rounds on this map now. That was where the real fun begins. <laughs> what was that a death machine? Probably still a regular one too. Yep. Let's go. All right, gotta knife the fuse. Is Easter egg done yet? I think so. But in this version, instead of uh, just spawning a power up, get a little extra with this Easter egg's completion. Aha, the door opens. Alright, zombie, you know what? Go away. Give me this. Doo -doo. I'm not sure why I'm wasting the wonder off. I know it's the most powerful weapon on the map, but so Easter egg is complete. George has been killed at least one time, or sent away at least one time. I don't, I don't remember the rest of the Easter eggs on this map. I know there's some extra ones on this version, but I don't remember what they are. Get that, zombies! Actually, I do have a weapon that can send George away permanently too. That's the kind of thing. Let's see, uh, I need to hit the gobble gum 
machine real quick. 1500. All right, let's see what happens when I hit this. Worth it for 1500. Ooh, yes, exactly what I wanted. This is nice. Hmm, Sweet should I go for around 50 now? I'm curious uh, how long that's going to take. Actually, I wonder, can I just straight up kill him again with the upgraded scavenger? Probably could. I have more than enough ammo, and I'm sure it gets a pretty good boost of damage against George. Damn it, I'm colder than a witch. That's pretty cool for my sight, honestly. I'm okay. Cool. Probably not gonna be enough to kill him, though. Maybe? Oh, well, keep shooting until I uh, find out what happens. Damn, you can take a beat, George. Oh, shit, this is a shit day in shit. Oh, I did kill him. <laughs> overpowered. Totally overpowered. I actually do get a Wonder Walk drop now, too. Pretty awesome. I'm finish him off a lamb's tail. Oh, I got dead shot. I really needed that. Where the hell do you go? All right. So whenever he spawns back in, I'm just gonna start sending him away. Which, if you didn't know, the upgraded VR11 will actually send George away permanently. Ah, oh, zombies! <laughs> that noise. That's hilarious. I don't think I'll go for round 50. Actually, just for time's sake and boredom of the video, so you just have fun with the zombies for a minute. Come on, you Come on. So yeah, this may be the number one zombies map in 2024, or at least custom zombie map on Black Ops 3, but you know, it's probably because everyone just likes Call of the Dead a lot, and people play it so much. Custom zombie maps, some of them could be cool and fun at first, but the replayability may not be there for him, so that's part of the reason probably people don't play him as much. But like with this, this is fun. This has replayability to it. It's not a, a totally original idea, but there's been some They'll twists added to it that anyway. have made it much more fun and replayable than the original. Although the original has a replayability factor, but it's really difficult to go for high rounds. Like, it really, really is. Alright, let's see if we can make George uh, go away permanently again. Only just yeah, I'll show you here in a minute. It's pretty cool that you can do this, and you can actually do this on the original as well. Let's use a grenade launcher a little bit. Uh, how did that do no damage? I'm just gonna have to start using my bare hands in a minute. Ah, max ammo. Thank goodness. Actually, I want to get the sickle knife. That's fine, George. Just chase me, please. Oh my god, I got to get the hell out of this water. In the water now. So I think if I do that, yeah, it instantly gets rid of him. I don't think it kills him, though. I don't think it'll drop drops. But he will go away. Wait, is he not going to go away? I thought he was supposed to go away. Oh, he is. Yeah, see, he's... Not interested anymore because he's going back to the water. Bye, zombie. Bye, George. Maybe I glitched him. Oh no, he just goes faster. Okay. <laughs> Bye, George. That's it now, George. Just take a minute. Calm yourself down. <laughs> yeah, he's gone for a round or two now. Just hang out in the infamous training area for 99% of the, the other Call of Dead players out there. Holy this thermal scope's actually kind of cool. It's got a weird recoil to it, but it's cool. Send the zombies away for a minute, too. <laughs> it's gone absolutely wreck zombies. Don't even need to aim it. The hip fire has been adjusted even, too. All right, I think I'll go to about round 25, and then I will call it a game, because obviously there's not much else left to this map. This is just good old Call of the Dead, basically remastered in Black Ops 3, as if it was like, you know, Zombie Chronicles or something. But it's better, it's more fun, and it's 
got the Black Ops 1 weapon, but they don't suck. Alright, I'm gonna go and buy M16 ammo. And actually, I'm gonna stand up Damn there because the the ammo's nearby and the zombies all funnel from one direction for the most part. Yeah, the hip fire plus dead shot on this gun is just crazy accurate now. Plus, it's got that 50 round magazine upgrade on it now instead of just 30. Uh, let's see, is George coming back? Yes, he is. I think I gotta wait till he's out of the water too, or else it don't count. Bye, George! Bye, zombies! The map is so much easier now that I've got all. Death machines? Oh, they're actually just regular death machines. That's interesting. Alright, so new. Swap. Grab other death machine. Just keep firing. <laughs> now, the real curiosity will be is uh, how do I actually end the game without ending the game? Uh, I can't die because I have PhD Swapper. There's no legitimate traps. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to end the game. I have to let the zombies eat me or something. Well, that was a uh, very convenient insta-kill. Get a little sickle action in now. Or it just refuses to register again. Love how that works sometimes, just refusing to register. Let's go this way. Go to the top of the lighthouse and chill out for a little bit. You stand no chance, zombies. See, like, this is the radio I was talking about normally for the Easter egg. I think those are audio logs, though. So I'm not going to play them because they're kind of boring and not very easy to hear. Them. Let's see if I can just go knife only, and if I do, I'll end up dying, at least I can fall off the right hand real quick, probably. Well, forget knife only, I just want to shoot him. Oh, it is round 25, so I don't, I don't even know how I'm going to die, because I can't jump off this and die. Look out below! Oh. Ah, I jumped. Oops. Like, not jumped off, but jumped up and I got the zip line. Actually, real it's quick, we'll test something. Bob's a clearing, praise Lord. Go away, zombie. Uh, oh, now go away, zombies! How many hits does it take to die from George Romero? Let's find out. Like, officially. Or not, because the zombies killed me. <laughs> Anyways, that is Call of the Dead. That is the remastered version on Black Ops 3. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.